If you think the answer is one, you are absolutely wrong. It is actually kind of wild how convincing that wrong answer feels when you first look at it. When you see 15 divided by 3 parentheses 2 plus 3, your brain effectively plays a massive trick on you. You instinctively solve the inside of the parentheses first, which is correct, getting 5. But here is where everyone goes completely off the rails. Because that 3 is sitting right next to the parentheses with no visible sign, it feels like it is physically attached. It feels like it has a stronger bond than the division. So you think, okay, 3 times 5 is 15. Then you take the original 15, divide it by your new 15, and you get 1. It looks so tidy and finished, like everything canceled out perfectly. But just because it looks tidy does not mean it is right, and in this case, that logic is totally incorrect. Before we fix this mess and show you the real path, please do me a quick favor and click like and subscribe. It's the best way to support the channel, and it really helps me keep making these explainers for you. So, why is the answer not 1? It's the classic order of operations mistake. Whether you use PEMDAS or BODMAS, the rules are incredibly strict about direction. The biggest misconception in math is that multiplication always beats division because the M comes before the D in the acronym. That is a myth. They are actually equals. They have the exact same rank. When you have both in a problem, you must solve them from left to right, just like reading a book. Let's restart the problem properly. First, we do the parentheses. 2 plus 3 is 5. That is undeniable. Now look at the expression again. We have 15 divided by 3 times 5. We replace the parentheses with a multiplication sign now to make it clear. If you do the multiplication first, you're technically moving right to left, which is forbidden here. We have to look at the left side first. The first operation is 15 divided by 3. That gives us 5. Now we take that result and multiply it by the remaining 5. So it's simply 5 times 5, which equals 25. The math does not lie when you follow the path correctly. So the correct answer is 25, not 1. If you can prove me wrong, go ahead. The comment section's all yours.